All right, what's up, y'all? Your boy Egyptian, back again. Um, so I was just watching a video uploaded by John Smith. He was talking about how he just quit his job, and that pretty much uh, motivated me to make this video right here. And this is about how I dropped out of uh, college. So about eight months ago, moved back home because I did drop out of college. Um, I was going to college after high school, fucking actually had plans to go to Cal State Northridge, got accepted, but ended up not going because they was on some bullshit. So I ended up moving to Long Beach, uh, moved in with, one, with, with some of my aunts, and I was going to um, Cerritos College in Long Beach. Uh, bought my first camera. I was running track too, bought my first camera. Um, so as I dug deeper into photography, uh, I started straying away from athletics and um, school. So ended up quitting a track team. And then I already had plans to leave college after that semester ended. But um, the way I ended up leaving was kind of uh, not, it was not good. I guess um, my aunt kicked me out because I was smoking weed and stuff at the house. Um, I already know, dumb decision something I should have been doing. She told me time and time again, like no drugs, no alcohol. Drugs it makes it sound worse than what it is. Uh, it's just weed, but um, she didn't know that I smoked, but she would just, you know, always tell me like none of that shit here. And uh, I do feel bad about the situation. I did let her down a lot, disappointed her a lot. Um, it's all love towards her. Uh, she did what she had to do. Um, you know, she made a promise her she didn't go back on her word. She did what she said she would do. So um, I will make it up to her one day. Uh, can't wait to see her again, actually. But yeah, so that happened. And I moved back probably like the first couple months. I moved back to my hometown, um, you know, just taking pictures and stuff, doing the same shit I was doing out there. Like when I was out in the city, I was really just doing my shit, taking a lot of pictures, making a lot of connections, like, you know, establishing myself, establishing a name for myself, getting myself out there. Like, I feel like if I was still there, I feel like if I had never left, I mean, I'd be pretty great right now. I mean, not what I want, but I'd, I'd be, you know, on the right, work, on the right uh, road towards what I want to be. And um, so, yeah, but, um, now it's been about eight months since I've been back. Don't have a job. Not going back to school because I don't fuck with that shit. And um, I had an opportunity to get a job. Like I want a job. I've been trying to find a job, but you know the city I live in is really small, so the job opportunities out here are not too great. But um, you know a job is needed, even if you don't want one. It's needed because you need to fund yourself. Uh, you know to live comfortably. But the reason why I want a job is I can put, um, you know, all that money towards photography, taking pictures and stuff. And so I can move out of this fucking house because I hate it here. And, um, you know, just get an apartment back out in the city with all the people I fuck with out here. You know, the people I fuck with on a daily basis, the people I create with, uh, make music with, take pictures with. Um, you know, just so we can all be together. It's really a family unit. And, um, you know, we got plans to do that. So, um, we're gonna make that happen. I'm gonna make that happen. For me, at least. Um, because, you know, I need to be up out of here. But, uh, you know, at the time when that happened, I didn't know how to feel because it was like, damn. All right, thought became reality. I'm actually done with school, don't need to go back. Um, and I won't go back, so shit, what am I gonna do now? Um, I got every day free, don't got shit to do. So every day I wake up early in the morning, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, and I get up and I go. I go create, take pictures, meet up with people who need pictures taken, go record music. Um, you know, as long as I'm creating and putting stuff out into the world and being productive, I'm good. If I don't got something to do that day, if I don't got anywhere to go, I'll stay at home and I'll do shit around the house. I'll clean up, fix shit, um, you know, just productive because I'm not gonna just waste 
my life away doing nothing every day. Um, but yeah, and um, the job opportunities out here, there's a lot of places to work, but there's a lot of places I won't work. Um, a, per a person has their limit, and my limit is fast food places. I mean, I don't have anything against people who work in fast food places. Um, like, I just can't do that. I need a job to where I'll be doing something every single second that I'm on the clock and something that's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I just need to be doing something, like physically doing something. Like, I couldn't stand behind a cash register all day because that's just not enough activity for me. So the job that I've been looking for is like warehouse jobs. I, I'd rather be moving back and forth uh, carrying shit, moving shit, stocking shit, driving forklifts and shit. Like, that's the type of work I need to do because that's the type of person I am. I don't know what it is about me that makes me that way, but that's just how it is. Like, if I'm at work, I really just want to work. I like doing hard work. I think a lot of that came from uh, sports and stuff, high school and college. But yeah, I like doing hard work. I and mean, then um, it gives you a sense of accomplishment, kind of, I guess. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's rough sometimes not having a job, but I mean, I don't really let that phase me. Uh, 2015 is a very spiritual year for me, uh, finding myself, figuring out what I wanted to do out of, for the rest of my life, what I wanted out of life, what I wanted out of the people around me, what I wanted for the people around me, and um, I'm so much, I'm so glad that I made the changes to my life that I did because um, it just made me such a great person uh, and it made me the individual I am today. Uh, and you know, those changes don't happen overnight. Like I've had people hit me up on, uh, you know, Instagram and Twitter and stuff, you know, hit me up asking me, you know, how do I do the things, certain things I do. Um, and I just tell them like, you gotta just train yourself to do these things. It's not an overnight thing. You gotta really train yourself. Um, sometimes it's not easy to live the, uh, with the mindset that I live with. Um, it was easy for me, but you know, not for certain people who, who wanna do it the way that I do. But you know, I'm a very focused and conscious and aware person. Like, um, but uh, the way I live, the way me and my friends live, the mindset we have, those are the successful mindsets. We, I believe that you won't get shit in life unless you work for it. Uh, people think, you know, celebrity and, uh, you know, rich people and all that shit. I don't know. I don't understand why people see all that as such an unattainable thing because I'm pretty sure if you talk to any celebrity, that's literally like actually made it and is known you know worldwide they would agree and they would say a lot of the same things that i'm saying like drake said um i'm the type to say a prayer and go get what i've been praying for that's like such true shit like a lot of people think rappers and musicians and shit just be saying bullshit they if you really listen to the music they say a lot of truthful shit and a lot of shit that will help you motivate you like you don't just pray and, and sit and wait. Like, what type of shit is that? People think they can just pray for shit and sit and wait. Or they think blessings just come just because. Like, every once in a blue moon. Like, no, nigga. You get blessed because you've been putting in work. You get blessed because of the things you've done. You do, you say prayers. And, my nigga, you literally go work for that shit. Like, uh, people especially like social media they got the word blessing like just so mixed up they turn it into something that is not oh bless this bless that like no nigga you're not blessed because a blessing is something you get in return for being a positive and productive person that's what a blessing is you don't get blessed just for doing nothing like um and that's just that's crazy to me but yeah so you know the universe will repay you for your positive energies that you put out. You put positive in, you get positive back. But you can't expect 
certain things in return. You can't do something and expect something in return. Like you really gotta be selfless with a lot of things that you do. And then at the same time, you gotta be selfish because nigga, nobody's gonna go as hard for you as you will. Um, nobody's gonna believe in you more than you believe in yourself. I believe in myself so much. Like everybody's gonna know who the fuck Egyptian is, whether it be for taking pictures, rapping, YouTube videos, whatever I do, because I know anything I do, I will be fucking great at it. Whether I gotta work at it or whether it just comes like that. But I just come to the conclusion that I'm a great motherfucker. And I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people from YouTube fuck with me because I'm such a I'm I I'm such a humble person, like and I'm a people person too. I love people and I love the support that people give me. I love the love that people give me and I don't want to do nothing but simply just return that love. Like people don't understand how powerful love is. Like love is a very powerful thing. Um I watched a film on Bob Marley once and that uh completely changed the way I uh, think about a lot of things. You guys should watch it, it's called Marley. But um, yeah, like love is just such a powerful thing, and I just don't want to do nothing but spread and share it. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna fucking go around the world and spread my love and spread my positive vibes, my pictures, my music, whatever it is, and I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing, and I'm gonna get better at it. But I mean, hopefully, I said some things that can help you out, John Smith. But um. Your boy Egypt gonna go ahead and sign out. You know, stay up, stay locked, go create.